What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So 1.19 pre-release is finally here and we are looking at a very close version of what's going to come in the final 1.19 update. So the wild update has a ton of features which we are going to go over all of them, all of them in this video today. So you'll get a look at all the features that you may have missed if you haven't been watching all the snapshot videos so far. But before we get into all those new features, let's talk about some features that are not coming in the 1.19 update. So at Minecraft Live last year, they announced some new features that would be coming in this update, one of which was the ancient cities, uh, another was the mangrove forest, which we're looking at here. But some things that we aren't going to be getting uh, are the fireflies, uh, which were announced to be coming to the mangrove swamp forest. Uh, I think they look really cool. They did show frogs eating them, things like that. I think it'd be a great ambiance effect to have in these mangrove swamp biomes, but unfortunately we aren't getting them in this update. We may still be getting them in a later update, but for now we can count those out. Another feature that a lot of people were excited for was the update to the birch forest. In, in the Minecraft Live event, they showed off some concept art of what the uh, birch forest could look like, but unfortunately it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any of those features in this update. Now of course they did just show off concept art, nothing was finalized, so it makes sense that it didn't make it into this update, but I know a lot of people were still very excited to see an update to the Birch Forest. Still hopefully we get it in an update very soon. But I mean, let's be real, Mojang is giving us a ton of content and all those biome expansions that we thought we were going to get, we are eventually going to get in future updates anyway. So let's celebrate everything that is coming in this 1.19 update by showing off everything that is coming in this update. And since we've got a lot to cover in a very short amount of time, I'm going to speed through this because most of you already know everything that is coming, but maybe you missed something. So first up, one of the new things that is coming in this update is the brand new mangrove swamp biome. These mangrove swamp biomes have a very dense uh, amount of trees and also have a very unique block in these trees which has never been seen before but it is the root block. Uh, along with this root block and the new trees, of course there is a new wood type as well. This new wood type is the mangrove wood type and has a very unique red color to it. I think this is going to be an incredible block to build with and I really am excited for all the creativity that we're going to see with this block later on. So of course one of the types with this new block is going to be the brand new boat, but when we're talking about boats in the wild update we have to talk about the brand new and I am very excited for chest boats. I have been wanting to be able to put a chest into a boat for years now and finally we are going to be able to do that in the new 1.19 update. Personally, I love going out and exploring the ocean, finding ocean temples, finding buried treasure, anything like that, and not being able to have a chest in my boat severely limits how much I'm able to adventure. So now with this new update, you're going to be able to carry way more loot back with you from your overseas adventures. Uh, some other new things that we have in the game are going to be the new mobs. So first up we have the frog, and this frog is actually going to come in three different variants. Uh, the variants are going to depend on which biome you're in, so if you want specific variants of that frog, you're going to have to travel to uh, the biome that they will spawn in in order to get that type of frog. And now the reason you actually want different variants of these frogs is because they are going to produce frog lights. And frog lights uh, come into the game when a frog eats a magma cube, and it has to be a small magma cube. I honestly think this is such a cool new feature that we're getting to the game. This is really the first renewability we have of light source blocks. Uh, so it should be very interesting seeing all the farms and everything that you can make with this in order to get a lot of these frog lights. I think the frog lights also look amazing. They come in these nice uh, pastel colors. And so you're really going to be able to do a lot with your builds once you're able to get a lot of these frog lights. Now let's move on to the new features with the goats as well while we're talking about the new mobs. So goats are now going to spawn goat horns when they run into different hard blocks such as stone or logs. There's going to be a few different variants of these goat horns, some variants even specific to the screaming goat, and each one of these goat horns is going to make a different sound. Now I'm not going to play them all here. If you want to hear all of them played, go and check one of our most recent snapshot videos so you can see all of those goat 
goat horns. The next new mob that we're getting before we dive into the deep dark is going to be the LA. The LA won this past year's Minecraft Lives mob vote, so is getting added to the game. The LA has some very unique features, and that is that it will pick up any block that it is given. So if you give it a piece of wool, the LA is going to go and find pieces of wool and pick up those blocks and bring them back to you. You can also change what the LA is holding just by clicking on it. And if you want the LA to bring it back to a hopper instead of you, then you're going to want to set up the LA with a note block and the LA will go and deliver those items to the note block instead of you. Currently, I haven't seen a lot of technical uses with the LA yet in picking up mobs, possibly from mob farms or something similar, but hopefully we do see some technical uses of the LA very soon. I think it's a super interesting mob, it's got some super unique properties, and it's something very new to the game, so I'm excited to see what people do with it. If you want to find the LA, there are two places that you can find it where it will spawn. One of those is going to be in the cages of the pillager outpost, and the other is going to be in woodland mansions. Now we've covered basically everything above the cave so let's go ahead and dive down into the deep dark now. The biggest new feature in the deep dark is going to be the ancient city and the ancient cities are so cool looking in my opinion. Right in the center of the ancient city you're going to find what looks like a portal that is uh, rimmed with reinforced deep slate which is not a block that you can even pick up in the game. This has led a lot of people, including myself, to believe that this is going to be a portal in one of the future updates. Personally, I would be amazed if they actually made it a portal. I really think it's going to be. I don't see any other reason why they would include this structure in the game uh, with absolutely no use. If this is a portal, uh, it's not going to be for a few updates before we actually see what this portal will lead to. Mojang has said before that before they actually add a fourth dimension, they want to make sure all the dimensions they currently have in the game are completely set up. And so I think they still have some updates they want to do to the end, and also some biomes in the overworld that they want to work on, and I expect both of those to come before they actually announce a fourth dimension. Now moving on to some of the other new things in the deep dark, of course we have the warden. The warden is completely blind, but will find you by smelling and also by sound. It also does a ton of damage. If you're wearing just plain netherite armor, it will be able to kill you in two hits. Also, towering up to avoid the warden hits will not work anymore either as the warden has been given a ranged attack, so it will send a sonic pulse at you to knock you off the tower and deal you a lot of damage. This has made the warden an absolutely terrifying mob to try to battle, but you should be able to make your way through the deep dark without having too many problems as long as you use a lot of wool and also be sure to sneak the entire time. And that's going to bring us to our new enchantment coming in this update. This enchantment is actually for your leggings, which I think is incredibly useful to have. It gives you a new enchantment to put on your leggings, which were pretty plain before, as you could only put mending, unbreaking, and any of your different protection enchantments on the leggings. But now you're also going to have Swift Sneak. And there are three different levels to Swift Sneak. Basically, you're going to be able to move very quickly while you are sneaking, which is going to be very useful especially for the deep dark as you're going to want to sneak around the entire place to avoid the warden. But why would you go to the deep dark? What reasons are there if there's not even a fourth dimension there yet? Well currently there is loot down in the deep dark and the loot has gotten pretty good. They tested out a few different styles of loot in the deep dark to see what encouraged players to go down and what they've got right now uh, has a few different unique things. So you're going to be able to find diamond enchanted armor, pretty similar to what you find in the end dimension, also tools with that as well. Uh, so that is pretty exciting and could be very useful, especially in the early game to get some quick enchanted diamond armor. Also in the deep dark, you're going to be able to find disc fragments and these disc fragment fragments come together to make a brand new disc that is coming to the game and this disc has a very unique sound to it so I highly recommend you go and listen to that as well. It's about three minutes and it is it is honestly terrifying to listen to because it is uh, it sounds like somebody escaping the warden in the deep dark. 
But if that's not enough loot for you, they're also going to have Echo Shards hidden in these deep dark chests as well. Once you have 8 Echo Shards and you put them around a compass in a crafting table, you'll be able to get an Echo Compass, which will lead you back to the last place you die. Now, of course, this is completely useless for hardcore players, so it really only appeals to players that play in survival, but it is still a pretty cool uh, loot to find and actually have if you're in a survival world. Also, in these loot chests, you're going to be able to find some of the standard loot that you'd find in loot chests uh, previously, such as string, some pieces of coal, things like that, uh, that aren't really anything you want, but it is going to be in the loot chest as well. So another piece of the deep dark, a very important piece that we haven't mentioned yet is all the new skulk blocks. These skulk blocks are basically what's going to be tracking your movement. Uh, any sound you make is going to go to these skulk blocks, so you're going to want to be very careful of them. We have a few different types, one of them is the skulk catalyst, and we also have the skulk shrieker along with the skulk, uh, the normal skulk blocks. The Skulk Shrieker is what calls the Warden out of the ground, and then once the Warden is out of the ground, if you walk on any Skulk Blocks or make any noises, those Skulk Blocks will alert the Warden as well, if the Warden doesn't hear you itself. But now we have basically covered everything coming in the new update. Of course, there's some bug changes, some technical changes, and some new music as well, but nothing that we can really cover in today's video. There's also some new advancements along with all the new updates, such as getting all three of the frog species, sneaking past either the warden or the skulk blocks, and a couple more. So definitely be on the lookout for those new advancements as well. But now we've basically covered everything coming to the game in 1.19. Of course, this is just a pre-release, so we may get some other changes before the final release of the update, but that update is really not too far off now. We can expect it sometime in June, unless there's any massive changes, then maybe even July. But right now, it's looking like we should get that update in either early or mid-June. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful in keeping you up to date on everything coming to Minecraft in the new update. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We of course cover the new Minecraft updates, but we also cover basically all things Minecraft, from mods to mega bases. so go ahead and check out the rest of our content. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.